This segment of Del Marva Life is brought to you by Peninsula Home Care. Last year, the health insurance law, also known as Obamacare, set the country up for sweeping changes in health care starting this year. One of those changes links Medicare payments to the quality rather than quantity of care. So, exactly what does that mean? Well, here to sort it all out for us is Nancy Bagwell, who's the Peninsula Home Care Branch Director, and Tim Feist, Vice President of Ambulatory Services for PRMC. Thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate Thanks for having us. Um, when we researched the patient-centered medical home model, one of the newest requirements of health care reform, here's what we found. Patient-centeredness refers to health care that establishes a partnership among practitioners, patients, and their families when appropriate to ensure that decisions respect patients' wants, needs, and preferences, and that patients have the education and support they require to make decisions and participate in their own care. Did you get that? <laughs> Even after having read it through, sometimes this is a little difficult to understand. So can, can you help us out here with this, Nancy, just a little bit? How's this gonna help the patient? Well, basically it's bringing together all the services that a patient may require, but actually making the patient become more accountable and interested in taking accountability for their health. So you would have coordinated services. So when you went to your physician, you may be offered a service from a care coordinator who would actually look at the whole health and well-being, disease specific or not, and how it relates, and then what other follow-up services you may need, such as imaging or uh, home care mm -hmm. or that kind of thing. So it's kind of like the left hand knowing what the right hand's doing. Absolutely. And that's what we've been doing for years in home care, but it's just now bringing out the differences of quality outcomes, patient-centered care versus volume-based. Obviously good for the patient. Right. So you're talking about uh, health care professionals across the board here. How, how is this going to be a coordinated communication? Well, what will happen is that your uh, patient, um, your physician mm -hmm. will actually call up and say you needed labs ordered and you were diagnosed with hypertension, then you would be sent to a cardiologist. That information would be shared with your cardiologist and so if you had to have labs at your physicians, then you wouldn't necessarily have to have labs because there would be electronic health record and so you would be able to know what happened and be able to get the information shared amongst where you wouldn't have duplication of services and maybe um, redundancies. So in other words, you've got one message and there's less confusion because everybody's just going to that message. Absolutely. All right, well, working together includes uh, Peninsula Home Care working closely with PRMC. And uh, Tim, from the hospital's point of view, that's, that's good news, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Uh, when you're talking about improving the care experience uh, for, for individuals, that kind of coordination and transition management is uh, very, very beneficial. It, it really is focused on um, and, and, and improving health, um, uh, reducing cost. Well, everybody loves that idea, reducing cost, mm -hmm. but how exactly will that happen? Well, as Nancy described, um, anytime you improve coordination and communication, um, you're going to reduce uh, redundancy. Uh, we know that we have opportunities to reduce uh, preventable readmissions through improved communication and coordination um, and handoffs throughout our care, so uh, that's, a, that's a great win um, to reduce cost. A lot of times when you go to the doctor and you, you get an x-ray, Mm -hmm. And then you have to physically take that x-ray to, you know, your doctor, this doctor, doctor that yeah. doctor. Yeah. That's all going to be streamlined, right? That's on the horizon. It's absolutely um, uh, critical that we have better electronic exchange of information and results so that, um, uh, you know, similarly to the banking industry where you can get access to your information and money anywhere, um, it would be the same with, with healthcare care in the near future. Okay, so Tim, the patient-centered medical home model, that's just one of the changes and it's mm -hmm. not really here yet so what else what other changes can we expect to see um, I, I think again the the major changes are going to be how to help folks become less passive in their health care decision making less passive in, in um, uh, their um, uh, health benefits mm -hmm. so we'll have uh, uh, more doing less talking right. and I think too um, health care isn't always about um, our senior population it's us and so from an employer standpoint there'll be more emphasis on how do we keep uh, our workforce health healthy and uh, the decision making there 
Now, so a uniform approach to combating obesity. It's a critical issue in our country, um, in every community across. Um, the uh, effects associated with that are um, significant uh, from a productivity standpoint, uh, overall health, hypertension, diabetes, you name it, so it's, it's crucial. So the bottom line here is we just need to talk. Talk and do. Talk and do. Talk and do. Boiling it all down. Yep. Tim, Nancy, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Great information. Look forward thank to you. finding out more about this. Very good. And if you'd like more information on the patient-centered medical home model, or if you want to learn more about the services Peninsula Home Care offers or PRMC, go to delmarvalife.com, click on the show tab. Still to come on Delmarva Life, Nicole Ritchie is one of Hollywood's hottest stars, a fashionista, designer, and actress, and she joins us next to talk about some of Hollywood's hottest trends ahead of this weekend's Golden Globes. And sticking with Hollywood, a little bit later on, we're going to speak with Howie Mandel, who's going to tell us how we can get involved with one of his latest projects. But first, there's already so many useful tools when it comes to using DelmarvaLife.com. Shouldn't surprise you when we tell you. They've added yet another great feature. The latest one is called the Jobs Guide tab. Just go to DelmarvaLife.com and click on the orange Jobs Guide tab located toward the top right side of the page. It's one-stop shopping for both job seekers and employers. With real-time matching, you'll know which position and potential employee best fits your needs. The Jobs Guide on DelmarvaLife.com, just another way we are keeping people and businesses connected here on Delmarva. We'll be right back.